got here. Got my Century FMJ Windcar Z500 LT. Century FMJ custom made by myself. And 20 pound thin braid, 40 pound shock leader. And this new float rig that we've been talking about on the net. Um, long range float rig. Got two ounce bomb sinker. Weighted squid float. Got the Imp 2. A longer than normal pulley rig. And a soft plastic to act as a pilchard. We'll just clip this in. I've tested this float in the in the sink and it actually floats up to about here. So everything seems to look in line. First cast. Um, that sign out there on the other side of the lake. I would imagine it would be about 150 metres away. So I'm up on the hill at the moment and I'll just give it a go. So there it is. We've got our float rig still up, floating, and it probably went 30 metres, 40 metres maybe. I'll just bring it in and see if it unclipped. Sure enough, it unclipped. Just have another look at it. See how she floats in the water. Pretty positive. Probably go with a little bit more weight actually. But for a tester, it might be right. I might try and put a little bit more effort into this next car. Way nice at that time. Almost got to the other side of the lake, about five metres shy, and I'd have to say that'd be a good hundred metres. So there's your long range float rig, hundred metres out, soft plastic as a pilly, they call it a pilly in the surf. There you have it, it can be done. Just wind it in again, see if she unclipped. And yep, unclip. Now the idea behind how it will float, see that's not even very well aerodynamic. Normally I put bait made around that. Put the tip a bit better. Now with the float. It could possibly sit in the water, I'm not sure, it could possibly sit in the water like that with say a two and a half metre drop off and a slowly sinking tilted behind it, perfect in the surf for salmon and maybe even shallow water snapper fishing, who knows. But it's well worth a go. Good work.